Now I'm starting like bling Time and time again They told me no They told me I wouldn't go Cause in high school all I care about was hoes Well, maybe that shit Hey guys, a long time no speak I've been... MIA. I'm actually gonna be putting on my makeup. I'm gonna be trying out some new products and we gonna we gonna we're gonna have a little kiki. I already did my brows and I think I'm gonna move on to the eyes first. But before I move on to my eyes, I'm actually I forgot to put on my moisturizer. I'm gonna put on my Derma E moisturizer. So it's really been a challenge for me to to film because there is a new tenant who lives above me and she's driving me crazy. She walks like a dinosaur. All you hear is stomping and the wood creaking. That's all I hear. I know exactly where she is. And it's literally driving me crazy. I actually cried at one point because she was so loud. Like there are times where I gotta like throw things up at my ceiling so that she can realize that a human being lives under her. I don't understand. She must have flat feet because it's just like stomp, stomp, stomp. Moving on. I'm going on to my eyes. I'm taking my e.l.f. primer. Oh, geez. Okay. This, this is still an oldie but goodie. And I love it. I've been dealing with that and I think she moved in like two months ago, I've already made several complaints, and by several, I mean two complaints. Well, actually, three complaints. One, via phone call, and two, via writing. I don't feel like my management is helping me, so I'm gonna go above them to the supervisor, and we'll see what happens after that. I, I don't know what can happen, but like, look, I'm paying rent. I know they're gonna be up on me paying rent, but me complaining, you better do something about that because it's literally driving me crazy. For the eyes, I am taking this Vintage Rose, ooh, model's own palette in Vintage Rose. I've never used this palette before. Um, it's got some pretty colors in here, so I think I'm gonna try it out and see how I like it. The packaging is kind of pretty. I like the holographic lettering. I want a fluffy brush. I want a fluffy one. I'm gonna take Rosebud which is a darker color. It's like a nice transition color for my complexion and I'm gonna put it all over my crease. All right, so another thing that has been happening is that I have been out of work for the past like two weeks. I mean, I recently went back to work, but like maybe about two, three weeks ago, I had to like not be at work because, you know, I was going through some like f foot problems. I had trouble walking. I'm getting better. I don't really wanna to go too deep into it, but just know I'm getting better. So far the colors are really pigmented. I'm gonna take Cameo. I should have applied Cameo first, but it's cool. I'm gonna take Cameo with the same brush and I'm gonna put it just right below that darker color. Cause I want, I want a nice transition. During that time I was out of work. I was also off of social media. I just needed a break. I always get into these slumps where I'm constantly comparing myself. And so I had to just log off. I'm talking Instagram, I'm talking YouTube, and I've even kind of logged off on Snapchat too. I am slowly trying to get back into it. It's been a struggle because it's, it's hard for me. Okay, I think the tenants left upstairs. Mind you, can we go back to the tent situation real quick? Because she has like a 12 year old daughter running around jumping. And there was one point where I thought that there was some like abuse going on. Turns out that wasn't the case. It was this chick running around crying and stuff. I don't know. I wanna take lace, which is a pretty bronzy pewter color thing. It's, it's a shimmery color. It goes with the crease and I'm just going to use it. Uh, okay. You know, I kind of want to wet this brush. Let's see. Uh, eh, somewhat. I don't know about this color. I'll probably put like a gold color in the center. I decided to use my hands. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm going back to the brush. I'm taking the gold color and I'm just putting it 
right on the center, just clean it up a bit. I kind of fell out of love with like YouTube and social media and stuff. And it was because that I was constantly comparing myself to other people. I was constantly, you know, looking at my progress or lack thereof and, you know, just feeling a type of way about it. So I just, I had to like get out get out you know what i want to try a new primer today eyes are partly done i'm going to finish up the rest of my face and then go back to the eyes so for primer i'm using the becca first light primer i'm not going anywhere today i just wanted to do a chit chat get ready with me because i know you guys like to hear me talk or at least from my analytics it looks like you like my get ready with me videos so i'm filming it I'm also taking the Amazing Cosmetics Smoothing Primer and I just put this all over my fine lines and my under eyes. Do you guys ever feel like you need to stop doing something because you're constantly comparing yourself? Because that's what I've been going through. That's pretty much why I haven't been online as of much. I mean, you probably, you guys probably didn't even notice anyway. Yo, this foundation I really, really like it. And it's drugstore, NYX Cosmetics, it's cruelty free. And let me also just say that all the products that I'm using here are cruelty free or vegan. I only use products that are cruelty free and vegan ever since I became vegan back in February of last year. I'm in the color Coco, at least that's what I think, because I mean, it fits me well. So I, I mean, I really have no complaints about it. I feel like I'm constantly talking to you guys about my problems though. Constantly, yo. But this is just how I be feeling. And you know, maybe, oh shit. As far as like trying to find cruelty-free and vegan makeup products and skincare products, it's actually not that hard. There's a lot of good drugstore stuff now that I'm, you know, discovering. And I'm loving the fact that NYX came out with this. I, it's The consistency is very thin, but it's full coverage and it is Definitely buildable. Definitely buildable. It just gives you that nice, smooth coverage, that even tone. Not always get my neck. When it comes to like being vegan, I feel like it hope opened up a whole bunch of doors for me as far as like discovering new things and basically just switching up my my lifestyle i didn't want to just be vegan by eating vegan food because i really don't consider eating vegan food something that makes you vegan that's just being on a plant-based diet to me personally being vegan is also being environmentally conscious it's also being sympathetic towards animals so i've been thrifting a lot and of course that helps the environment. You also get unique clothing finds. And usually the clothes are affordable. <laughs> I'm just baking just a little bit because I found a lot of good stuff at the thrift store. Um, I mostly shop at Salvation Army only because it's the closest one to me. I could go to the Goodwill uh, outlet in Long Island City, but like it's fun. Uh, I want to talk to you guys about this Becca bronzer. This is in Maui. Um, this recently came out and this looks like a blush, but it works really, really well as a bronzer. I'm impressed. I've been using it a lot, you know, just like on the hollows of the cheeks, the perimeter of my face and all that jazz. So I've just been like, dab dab dabbing i'm going to contour my nose a little bit i've been using this elf contour brush they gave this to me while i was in austin texas during the elf beautyscape weekend um that was an epic experience by the way but um i really like using this for my nose just because it's like skinny enough to to like like reach it Someone asked me a question about my nose piercing. Um, I got my nose pierced last year in June, so I'm nearing my one year mark. <laughs> as far as the nose piercing experience, it was painful for the first five seconds, and then after that, the pain just went away. Okay, 
I reload it. I've been consuming a lot of content. Namely, like, you know, on Netflix and on YouTube. I've just been obsessed with, as far as, like, YouTube, I've been obsessed with, like, bullet journals. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a little natural today. And as far as the other products that I use, I'll put it in the description box below in order of appearance. So that way you guys know, because I know I didn't show y'all everything. I have been obsessed with bullet journals, namely the customizable ones. I've had a bullet journal since January, but that, that one was like crap. It really, really was. There was no artwork. There's no creativity put into it. And I like the idea of being creative with a bullet journal and making it personal to you. So channels I've been obsessed with as far as like bullet journals are Miss Louie and Amanda Rach Lee. I am going under the eyes with Cameo and Rosebud. And then I'm gonna apply some mascara. And I'm taking Charming and applying that to the inner corners of my eye. Oh, this definitely pops. I'm gonna apply some highlighter real quick. Since we're in May, my birthday is gonna be next month. Uh, I plan on going away again. Last year I did New Orleans and this year I'm thinking of another place but I'm not ready to divulge that information just yet. Once I purchase my tickets it's bible okay it's the truth. Why not? I actually plan on going away with my mom this year and this will be our first time actually like going on vacation just mom and I you know. Of course I wanted to go with the boo thing but I mean when am I ever gonna get this opportunity to go on vacation with my mom, you know? Makeup is almost done. I just have to apply the lipstick. Uh, I am going to go in this box. Smashbox sent this to me, okay? Okay? And it comes with a whole host of lippies, all right? A whole host of them. This is amazing. Thank you so much, Smashbox. These are the Be Legendary Liquid Pigments and liquid metals. I'm gonna go for the metals today, okay? I think I'm going to try this one right here. It's very bronzy. If you guys wanna see like a lip swatch video on these lippies, let me know, comment down below or like this video. Um, this color is Brains and Bronze. <laughs> that's, that's a cute, cute name. Um, it's a really interesting applicator. These have a, a nice, smell it smells like is it peaches i think i need something lighter because it just doesn't go with the eyes so i'm gonna go in with petal metal and put it on the center of my lip oh i already did my hair off camera i'm going for like space buns or something then i just got like some hair in the back here all right Right. To finish off the look, I'm using my favorite makeup setting spray. This just smells so damn good. Like, I can't even deal. Mm. So this completes the finished look. I'm keeping it very, very natural. And yes, this is very natural for me. <laughs> okay. I'm giving you bronzy, golden goddess. Um, glowy, glowy. I, girl, I don't know. I want to thank you all so much for watching this video. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And also turn on your notifications because I don't think anyone has been getting that I post videos. Please turn on your notifications so that way anytime I upload, you will know. I want to thank you so much for watching this video. And I look forward to having you come back around here. I want to thank you all so much for watching and supporting and subscribing to my channel. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace. Out. I ain't felt like this is the third drop, third car to drop. Told my mama third grade, I'll be in a third barber shop. And yeah, my mama got real word when she heard a college drop. But now I call the yeah. shots. Yeah. Yeah. Hey.